TAVR stands for Trans Aortic Valve Replacement. With this technology, we're able to go through the groin typically, and we're able to put the valve through that into the aorta and then balloon it into the old, over the old valve, and that new valve would function in lieu of the old valve. And that's what a TAVR is. Originally, when the studies came out, it was for high-risk patients. So there were a small subgroup of patients that were not surgical candidates. So as the valves got better, as the technology got better, we went from high risk to low risk to intermediate risk. And now it's kind of a procedure that's being done frequently. The reason why this particular patient got done is because he is higher risk, um, basically based on age. He's 88 years old and most 88 year olds don't typically get offered wide open heart surgery. Now he is a pretty functional 88 years old, so our job is to try to get him back to where he was before. When we started doing the TAVR procedure, we were having a two night stay, but now if we do it today and they feel great tomorrow, we usually get them back out of the hospital sometimes in 24 hours. So that's a completely different situation than uh, an open heart surgery where there's a lot more recovery and a lot more hospitalization.